Hello and welcome to Summit TV. I'm Jennifer Sue. Sassel's been slapped with a 3.8 billion rand fine for rigging markets in Europe. The European Commission says it was the ringleader of a cartel known as the paraffin mafia. Sassel and eight other companies carved up the market for paraffin wax in Europe for 13 years. They stopped only in 2005 when one of the firms, Shell, blew the whistle in return for leniency. Together, the firms have been fined 676 million euros. Sassel as ringleader was fined nearly 320 million euros. That's equivalent to nearly a sixth of its attributable profits last year. Market chaos has claimed another scalp. Mining group Extrata has dropped its planned five billion pound hostile bid for Lonman. CEO Mick Davis is blaming what he's branded unprecedented uncertainty in financial markets and says terms for debt finance would have hurt Extrata. Shares in Lonman plummeted, wiping off the platinum producer's market cap. They closed 13 percent weaker, having dropped as much as 27 percent at one stage today. Moving to the manufacturing sector, which in South Africa at least appears to have hit the bottom. That's according to the latest survey from Investec. Its purchasing managers index came in unchanged at 47 for last month, and expectations for the next six months are looking brighter. The business activity index declined further, but new orders increased, and the rise in input costs is tapering off. Low-cost retail bank Capitec appears to have emerged unscathed from the tsunami of bad debt its fellow banks are experiencing. Capitec grants loans at fixed interest rates, which means rising rates haven't had as big of an impact on the company. The banks even managed to increase its client base by a third to almost 1.6 million customers. Income from banking operations jumped 55 percent to 916 million rand, while diluted headline earnings per share grew 25 percent to 142 cents, and Capitex upped its dividend by a fifth to 30 cents a share. CEO Rian, Rian Stassen says present market conditions have not had an impact on their retail deposit levels. The bank also received an improved short-term rating by Moody's in May of this year. Its shares closed 1.4 percent lower today. And looking at the markets now, the JSE ended a volatile day deep in the red. Resources tumbled 3.2 percent, financials lost 1.76 percent, industrials fell 1.2 percent, and the all share lost over 2 percent as a result. The South African rand is slightly weaker against the dollar, trading at 8 rand 27 at present. Local bonds ended firmer, oil is around $94 a barrel, and spot gold is at $880 an ounce.